I'm a beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, I already filmed this makeup look. Maybe it's already on my channel. If it is, I will remember, try to remember to put the code up here, but let's watch this till the end until you go and watch that, before you go and watch that. Now, it's time to go through my trash. And it's plenty, plenty, plenty. So if you want to see, oh, my mic, if you want to see, what I've used, what I think, please keep on watching. There are a lot of products in here. I already filmed my uh, empties for like two months ago and I never uploaded it. Uh, December was a very hard month for me and we lost a family member in COVID and I just stopped filming and f just threw away everything I filmed before because I didn't feel like I wanted to edit anything. But I feel stronger right now and feel a little bit better and we are taking it slow this year is also very weird but let's hope it's better than the last one and I'm ready to show you my trash that I've used during the November and December month and also January now so three months of use let's go let's start with the product for the hair first let's start with this first thing here this is beyond accent heat styling protector protects up to 220 degrees now i already repurchased this one i already have a new bottle if you don't believe me let's see, show you here it is can you hear this is empty this is new one that's how much i like it i like this heat spray i think it's a nice um, it says you don't have to fear the heat if you're carry prepared. This shine and enhancing lightweight spray is your trustworthy friend when high heat style tools come along to blow you away, make you make you flat out straight or beauty cur beauty beautiful curls. This is from Sweden, Swedish brand, and I do like this. I do like this. I do recommend it if you live in Sweden. Uh, I don't know if you can purchase it this outside the Sweden maybe maybe if you purchase it from the website it's not the cheapest product but it's it's good okay let's go through other stuff this is my fifth or fourth or fifth uh, packaging or hand cream from uh, Sol Genier Sol Genier I always butcher this name but I love this hand cream it smells of course wonderful Mm. it goes into the skin into the hands very fast it makes my hands soft and I just love this hand cream I always I have plenty of hand cream but as soon as I use another one that I just opened I will repurchase this I do have a couple of hand creams that I need to use up but I of course go and purchase this one the hand creams I'm using currently is one that I got in my subscription boxes or in my beauty calendars uh, but if I go and buy a new hand cream myself, I always go buying this one and definitely we purchase beautiful hand cream. Another thing that I do like, this is the Formula 1006. This is down to 2D pore, blackhead banished pore strips. I like these, easy to use, uh, easy to use, nice, remove my pores, like it, nothing special. But I do like this brand. I've used a couple of three, a couple of other products from this formula, formula 10.0.6. Strange name, but I look like this product. Uh, another product, I think last time I talked about my empties, I talked about the shampoo. This is the conditioner from O Herbal. Uh, no, this is the shampoo. Sorry, shampoo that you can see here. Uh, that's disgusting. Sorry, guys. Uh, this is the shampoo. I really like this one. This is a very nice natural shampoo. It has no, no uh, zero silicones or artificial coloring. It's natural. Like it a lot. I will definitely purchase this now. I have plenty of shampoos to go through. This came broke the cap but didn't bother me. I do, do like this shampoo a lot. Now, other product that I repurchased a couple of times is uh, this uh, shower gel or shaving gel. 
uh, I do like these products. I do like to use them when I shave my legs. And now, of course, you can use soap, but this makes my skin very smooth and uh, very soft. I do like using these kind of products when I shave my legs. It has aloe vera, it's nurturing. I do, I do like this product a lot, really like this product. And I can definitely see myself repurchasing because I like, I like. There are some very good products in here, but trust me, there are some less good products. Another product that I need to repurchase as soon as possible is this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I got, I got this from my sister for birthday, I think, think two years ago and I've used up every drop. This is one of the best gripping primers out there. There is nothing better than this one. It's amazing. It is just everything. Just, I talked about this a lot, so I'm not going to continue talking a bit, a bit about it more, but I do recommend it. I'll definitely purchase. Uh, it's a little bit higher in price. I do have plenty of primers to use up. So that's the only reason I don't repurchase this because I do have plenty of plenty of primers I need to use up before I go and purchase this. But I just love this, love this. Another product that I've used is this Felora, Felorgia, Felorga, I can't pronounce this name. Sorry guys, this is the Optim Eye Intensive Revitalizing 3-in-1 Eye Cream Contour Cream. This is expensive. I don't remember really how much it was, but I know if this is expensive. And if you know this brand, you know this is not cheap. It's a good eye cream. It's a thicker consistency, so I did use it during night. I didn't use it. It opens like this. I like the packaging. I did use it during the night because I felt when I used it in the morning that my concealer kind of looked a little bit more cakey. And it's definitely because this is kind of more like that thick, heavy consistency. Uh, it did nice. It did kind of hydrated and also made me look a little bit smoother, but it's not, I don't think it's kind of worth the price if I have to be honest. Would I repurchase it? I, I could see myself repurchasing this, but it's just too expensive what, actually, what it actually does. It's not magic. It's not going to make you look so smooth that it's going to look like you don't have any fine lines. So it's not magic in a bottle. It sounds like that when you read the online information and with the, when you leave, read the reviews. But let me just say, it's too expensive. It's good, but it's too expensive. If it was a lower price, I would definitely purchase it. But I felt like I needed another cream for day use, for days. Uh, this is just a better use for night. I like it, but it's just not worth the price. Another product that I don't really understand. This is a Dermalogica. I think that's how you pronounce this. I always butcher old names. Ultra Calming Cleanser. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I, this, this is supposed to clean your face. Gently Cleansing Gel Cream for Reactive Skin. This pH balanced non-forming cleanser helps calm and cool the redness and heat accessorized with reactive, sensitized or overprocessed skin, delicately fortified skin's protective barrier without leaving an irritated residue, an easy rinsed away or whipped off, making it idle for sensitive skin. I bought this because I asked, I don't know, there is a website, I don't remember what website, but I asked those people that worked over there a good cleanser that's good for oily skin, that's good for breakouts, uh, sensitive skin, but also you can use on eyes because I like using f uh, cleansers that you can use on the eyes. That's just what I prefer. And I got this recommend. This is so high up. Everybody thinks this is amazing. It didn't do anything. It didn't remove my makeup. I didn't remove my makeup like this makeup. Oh no. If I just take this on the hand and rub it in, it's not going to remove anything. 
just going to sm maybe smoosh everything around, but it's not going to remove anything. I did went on with a heavier cleanser that I'm going to show you right now. Well, not heavier, but uh, you know, the cleanser that will remove your makeup with that makeup uh, towel too. And then I went in with this. My face was still having makeup on. This doesn't clean my face. I hate the packaging. I couldn't use this uh, cap. I don't know. I don't know if the product dried inside. I tried to wash it, remove it, clean it. It was frustrated. This was too hard to press too. Uh, I felt like I needed muscles to use this. This, so I had to remove the cap and, you know, put it in the hand and then use it. Hey, the packaging. Don't like the product. Don't understand why it's that. Also, it's not the cheapest cleanser. People like it. I don't see point of using this. Maybe if you have breakouts and sensitive skin and don't use makeup, maybe it's good for you. But no, if you have similar skin as I have, if you have mature skin, if you have, uh, I know, something, you need a cleanser that will remove rest of the makeup. This is no, not going to repurchase, not going to repurchase. Another product that I've used up that I got in my subscription boxes is this NAE Natural At Antica uh, moisturizing, moisturizing Shower Gel. This was a nice shower gel. Uh, it's 97% natural products. It's, it's good. Wouldn't buy it myself. I have other that I prefer, but it's not a bad product. It's not bad. I tried a couple of other products from this bag. It's not bad. I like it. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just not the, you know, the best one. Did clean my skin. I just felt like after this, I didn't need to go in with a uh, moisturizer or body moisturizer uh, lotion. Usually there are some cleansers that don't dry out my skin. This for some reason did. I don't understand why, but it's, it's not terrible. My skin is very dry, especially on my legs, but I mean, it's not bad. I wouldn't repurchase it though. Face creams. This, this is the Eucerin Hyaluronic Filler Day Cream, Night Cream. Like this, this is my repurchased product. I already used this a couple of years ago and I repurchased. I like this brand. I love their products. They are amazing. They make my skin smooth. They make my skin moisturized. That actually reduced my... Um, what it's called, my wrinkles, or make me look more smoother, my wrinkles are less deep. I just like this product, I will recommend it, I will repurchase. Now I do have plenty of moisturizer that I need to go through, uh, so I'm not going to do that now, but as soon as I find a good deal, I will purchase because this was a good deal last year, around the Christmas, buy two, they were like both of them in the same package, but you pay for one. That's something like that. And I immediately went and bought it because I love this. I will definitely recommend this brand. I already talked this in my yearly favorites from 2020. This is the Kate Summerwheel Cold Cream uh, Moisturizing Cleanser. This is one of the best cleansers. That's, something's itching on my chin. This is one of the best, best moisturizing cleansers I've tried and I tried a couple of them. This is uh, this I got from a friend Valerie. You can't purchase this in Sweden. She sent this to me. I used every drop and I wanted to cry because this was used up. Now uh, this moisturizer my skin leaves my it removes makeup. It removes everything. It leaves my skin very nice, very moisturized, very soft. I just love the feeling. I looked forward to remove my makeup after a whole day wearing my makeup because I knew I will use this product. Right now I use Huda Beauty Wishful Cleanser. That one is also good. Uh, but this one is so, so nice. I like it. I wish I could buy it. I wish I could find it somewhere. I tried to Google it and find it on Amazon or somewhere else on other websites. Couldn't find it, so I couldn't repurchase it. But I do recommend this product. If you find it somewhere, if it's possible for you to buy this product, I will definitely recommend it. Product that I didn't like at all is this Respire Respire deodorant. I think I talked about this in a video where I talk, talked about the product that made me disappointed last year. This deodorant is expensive. 
but didn't keep me dry, didn't keep me smell nice. After two, three hours, I could, I've, I could feel that I, mm, I need to go and take a shower. I do get, uh, I do sweat a lot. Uh, and it's nothing I'm embarrassed of, it's just how my body works. And this, I do prefer to use natural deodorant, especially these couple of years. And I have to say, I this one that didn't work for me, I wouldn't repurchase it. I have another smaller size. This is the citrusy, smells better than the other. I think this is the other one that I have is orange. Oh orange blossom something like that smells nice but it's not as good as this one but just no 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 don't recommend it l'oreal paradise fourth fifth bottle packaging love this repurchase definitely now i have plenty of mascaras i need to go through guys <laughs> i one two three four five six seven eight nine open mascaras and four that i still need, need to open and try so I love mascara, so if you, I will definitely buy new mascaras to review. I love mascaras, but I'll definitely repurchase this one because I do like it. Jouvet, this is Jouvet, this is the essential soft matte high coverage liquid concealer. My second one, love it. Repurchase, will repurchase. This is in shade wheat. I just love this because I know I, I've used up everything, and if you have just a little bit left to show you the shade but this is one of the best concealer I tried like it the the one that I like as much as this one is the NARS one that one I like too that I've used in this kind of package I didn't try the jar one I'm kind of curious to try that one but this one is beautiful love it recommend it and definitely repurchase okay I have plenty I need to go through and talk faster because there are so many products. This is the infallible L'Oreal More Than Concealer. Now this is not empty. I know. I know. I'm not going to use this. This oxidize. Uh, this looks uneven, patchy. Doesn't matter what foundation. Doesn't matter what powder. Doesn't matter what face cream. Doesn't matter anything what I use. This doesn't want to blend. Even when I go in with the powder you can see um, like where it's less, where it actually has less co coverage. I don't know, I can't explain but this is a terrible product. Everybody loves it, not everybody I don't know, but many people love this product. Many people swear about it. This is the holy grail. I love L'Oreal products. I've tried many of their products love them but this for some reason is too sticky it just when i blend it i can make it blend i tried it like not long ago in a video i tried to blend it and it looks so smooth and beautiful then i went in with the powder one side looked nice one side didn't even doesn't matter how hard i blend doesn't matter if i use sponge brush it just doesn't want to look nice no needs to go okay guys sorry i was recording but my camera card was full so i had to re-upload the pictures on the computer it happened to me a couple of times today i don't know why okay what was that yes i have my real light on and it's very bright i kind of like that let me know down below what you think about the lights but i do like it now uh, i try this madakadar organic skincare this is a time Mir time miracle wrinkle resist eye makeup or eye cream this is a very nice eye cream now I've used the, the the one that I showed you before I used that at night this one I used during the day and this was nice uh, it's not something that I will repurchase it was a good eye cream but I do like to experiment more with other eye creams to try different eye creams now this wasn't a bad product I will definitely um, use it again if I got it I don't know if I will spend my own money on it I don't know how much it is but it's a very nice and good eye cream it's a lightweight it goes into the skin very fast absorbs into the skin very fast and also makes my under eyes very hydrated so it's a very good very good eye mask uh, eye cream now i do have plenty of eye creams to use up uh, but yeah that this one i do recommend that the other one before no but this one yes 
Okay, the other thing that I used is, this is the Bergamot Plus Lime Natural Deodorant from brand Schmitz. Schmitz, oh my god, I can't pronounce the brand, sorry guys. This is uh, one of the best, one of the best, deodorant that I've tried. I tried the charcoal, I tried the rose, I also like this lime. I think lime is one of my favorites. I did like charcoal, charcoal uh, the black one, it didn't stain my under arms. The people they say it does, no it does not. It didn't do that to me. I tried it a couple of times, uh, I used up two of those bottles or what you call them nothing happened to me. Now the rose I still have and still use. This one is definitely my favorite just because it, it smells lime, fresh, citrusy, which, which is the scent that I do prefer. So love, love, love this one a lot. Recommend it and I'll definitely repurchase it. Uh, the other face product that I tried is Akko. This is a Swedish brand, Perfecting Serum. Uh, this is supposed to uh, smoothing, face boost, impro improve skin tone, smooths texture and deeply hydrates. Definitely hydrates. Definitely feels very, very comfortable on the skin. It absorbs, my skin absorbs this. It's a good serum. Now this is very nice and affordable. It's a good product. I heard many good things about it. It's not a wow product. It's not a, I didn't notice big differences. I did notice that my skin felt very moisture, not moisturizing, but hydrated. But I still think I've tried other that I prefer. It's not bad. Would I repurchase? Definitely. If I saw it in a, uh, it, was, it wasn't expensive, but I think I would repurchase it if I saw it and it was reduced, the price, you know, the price was reduced, I will then repur repurchase it. But it's not a bad one. I'm gonna say it's bad, but just nothing. I know, nothing amazing, nothing, it's not going to do some wonders to your face. Some people really like this. Some people say it made their skin tone e uh, more even, but I couldn't really see that f f for me. So I am always honest on my channel, guys. So if you find any of these products that really work for you, that didn't work for me, let me know. And I'm, I, I'm very interested, but I just say the things didn't really work for me. Uh, then I've used, this is the Moisturizing Perfect Hydration 24 Hours or 24 Hours Care. Uh, this is Biogram, Biogradma MD, Hyaluronic plus DMC, I don't know. This I got in my subscription boxes and I, I think this was a nice product. This was a very nice product. I mean, it felt nice on the skin. It, my skin really liked it. It also synced it to the skin very fast. It's nothing that I will go out and buy, but if I will get it, I will be happy to use it, even if it's full size. Sometimes I do try sample size of a moisturizer or something that, and I fell in love and I go buy a full size. This didn't really happen with that. This really didn't happen with this product. Now I don't say it's a bad product. I just feel like it didn't warm me up, it didn't blow my mind, it didn't do anything special. I tried other that's that kind of, I felt a big difference in my skin. This didn't give me that, but I did like it, I did enjoy it. Will I purchase it? Probably not, because I do have plenty of face moisturizer to go through, but um, if, if I needed one and I saw this, I could see myself buying it, let's just say it like that. Let's stay on that. Okay, I have a couple of more and I'm, I promise I'm finished. Uh, okay, this is the make, Makeup Mecca brush soaps. I have two empty one. Smells nice, smells fresh. They come in this small packaging. I have, I bought three, I gave one to my sister and I kept, kept two. I went through this very fast. It, this is a nice soap. It doesn't cost. I think I pay like three dollars for this for one, and you get how much do you get? Twenty five grams. So it's it's a good product. Uh, but I feel like it leather. It takes it a while to it to leather. I feel like it cleans my brushes better than it cleans my sponges. To clean my sponge I need to go in with this soap a couple of times. It took me a while to clean it every morning or every time I use it. Uh, but my brushes, 
I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it with the brushes much, much more, but I did went through this very, very fast. Now I try to clean my brushes and my sponges with other regular soaps and charcoal soaps and all of that different soaps that bars that people use. I looked at those videos, I bought those soaps and nothing works. So I always need to have this kind of, you know, brush cleanser, sponge cleansing soaps. Now I've purchased the new one from Makeup Revolution in a jar. I know what it's called. It's the newest product. I bought that and I'm going to try it. I also bought um, the, from the, what it's called, the Beauty Blender soap that I like. Now, would I ever purchase this? I don't think so. I would ever purchase it if it was, I think that sometimes they have like five products for price of small amount. I will maybe then repurchase this, but it's nothing that I, you know, need to go run and buy. I did use that dark soap from, uh, from uh, what it's called, from Beauty Blender that I repurchased a couple of times because it's wonderful. This really didn't, it's a very good for the brushes. For the sponges, not so much. Okay, so I used, oh my God, to use uh, powder for me, it takes a very long time because I do have plenty of powders, but I've used the Infinity Filter, Infinity Filter, filter Loose Setting Powder from Linda Halbert. Now this is a very nice, oh, I do have it, just a little bit left of it down here. Well, almost out. Uh, I'm not going to use it up, but I did use this, uh, I did use this powder from Linda Halbert and I did enjoy it. It did smooth everything. I didn't feel like it made my face less oily and I didn't feel like it kept my oils in control, but it's a very nice powder if you have dry skin, also a normal skin. If you have more oily skin, I don't think this will make your oils not come through, you know, keep, keep you more matte. I don't think that's that kind of product, but I did enjoy the powder. Uh, I think it's a nice, I wouldn't repurchase it because I do like powders that will make me uh, look more matte during the day. Now I do look oily and it has to do that I'm reviewing a new foundation. Maybe that's the reason I look that this nice and glowy, but good powder, recommend it, but just not for me. Another powder that I've used up that I enjoy, this is Laura Mercier. Now, I really enjoy this powder. I really enjoy these powders. I could see myself repurchase it. Like I said, I have powders I need to go through, but this is a very nice powder. I do have to say that I do, do prefer Huda Beauty over this one. So many people like this powder. They say it's amazing. It is amazing. And I always, every time I used it, my makeup looked very nice and flawless. I did enjoy it. Do I have to say that I do prefer Huda Beauty because you know oil face this smooths my pores this makes me look like porcelain but it doesn't like that Linda Halbert it doesn't really keep my oils in control as much as the Huda Beauty one does and that one is just such a nice powder so nope will I ever purchase it yes I, I could see myself repurchasing if I didn't have any powder and all of the powders I like were out of stock, I would definitely purchase it. I think it's a nice powder. I think it's worth the money. Many people like it. I understand the hype. I just prefer something more that will make, you know, that's more all control. Three more products, then I'm done. Okay, then I have LA Girl Brow Pencil. Oh my God, this is a nice brow pencil. It's a nice color. I had it in, uh, can't even see it, the, the, the text worn off. I think it's brunette, something like that, brunette. I love this brow, eyebrow pencil. It's nice, it's beautiful. I will definitely purchase it. I've used up, uh, I, I did enjoy it, I did like it. I also think this is a very nice dupe for the 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 Anastasia's brow wiz now many people some people say the next one is I like this one next one too but this one is also very good uh, it stays on my eyebrows especially if you go in with the gel too I just like this product I can definitely see myself for purchasing now two products two products and both of them are setting spray to begin with is this Huda Beauty extra hold this will keep your makeup in place 17 plus hours. <laughs> now, really, this is going to keep your makeup in place. It says it's ultra matte finish. Does look matte when you just apply it. Now, 
During the day after wearing this, I could see my oils coming through, but it did keep my makeup in place. I love this setting spray. The only thing I hate it and the only thing that actually decided that I'm not going to repurchase is the scent. The scent is too strong. It's too perfumey scented. Now I saw that she uh, reformulated her, uh, what it's called, the foundation. I reviewed you. I did review her foundation. I think I took a sample from, from uh, Sephora. I did review it. I liked the coverage. I just didn't like the foundation. It was too heavy. I like full coverage. But that one uh, looked cakey and gathered up on my skin after a couple of hours. So that's the only reason I never bought the full size of that foundation. And the scent was too strong. Now she reformulated. Definitely going to try the new formula. I'm looking forward to it. I hope she reformulates this. Now this has alcohol. Uh, I, I know some people say, you know, alcohol is bad. For, of course, if you use this every day, maybe it will make your skin less very dry. You know, it it's it's strong, but. All of, this, all of the setting sprays that are made to keep your oils in control and makeup stay on the whole day, it's going to have alcohol in. Sorry guys, but that's just how it works. It doesn't bother me though, but the scent does. The only thing it turns me off to buy this again is the scent. But I do like it and I do recommend it if you can see past that. The last product that I enjoy is the L'Oreal infallible magic setting spray now this is also long lasting setting spray all day matte finish all that matte finish mm, just a little bit mm, lie. well it's not all day matte finish if you have oily skin very oily skin or oily com combination skin like i do your oils will come through after a couple of hours i mean of course they will but but, 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 your makeup will stay. So I do like this and I do recommend it. I do like uh, L'Oreal products. Now, uh, would I repurchase it? Definitely. It's not the best, best, best that I tried, but it's definitely a nice product. So guys, that was everything. Oh my God, this is empty and ready for the next product. I already have product that I'm almost out with and I love, love doing empty videos. I love watching empty videos. I love... And I do that because I love when people say, you know, used up a product for a long time and then they give you a review and truth, honesty review, tell you if it's a good or not. You always, only, you always know if you like a product, if you finish it and you know and you miss it, then you know it's a good product. Sometimes I don't like a product, but when I use it up, I miss it. Then I say, why do I miss it? What, why? Why do I feel like I need to buy it? I kind of like it, didn't like it, why? And sometimes that happens. So I do love to watch empty videos and I do love to make them. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell and I see you in my next video. Bye guys.